Okay, um, it's going to rain all day tomorrow, so I thought I'd uh, make a bit of a start on getting some bits and pieces ready to, to do here in the shed. So what I've, I'll give you a look at what I'm doing. Okay, um, the four-wheel drive set up in the back of my Navara is a bit rugged at the moment. Um, so I've decided to um, do a little bit of mucking around. Um, what we're going to do is pull out the um, the battery and the fridge and redo the setup. So um, as you can sort of see, that's a little uh, 150 watt power inverter. That's all I really need most of the time. Um, to, to charge up little various bits and pieces that I can't charge up off 12 volts. Um, so things like um, drill batteries and stuff like that get charged up on there. Um, the SeaTech charger, um, going to give that a try. Um, again, come from Kings. Um, I suppose everybody has seen them. Hopefully everybody knows about them. It's a DC to DC charger. Uh, that's the input there for solar. See the little, no, you can't really. You can sort of see the little solar sign there. Uh, the A is the alternator. There's a an earth, and that's the uh, the output where that red thing is. So we're going to run the power from the battery or solar in through the SeaTech charger somehow um, off to a battery which I don't have sitting here, um, and then we're going to control most of the bits and pieces that I run uh, regularly in the canopy um, off this. King's battery box that I bought. Um, I might just have a quick. So I've already got the um, little screws out. There's uh, four little hex heads that um, hold the panel on the front. Just use a standard. I think it's got a three mil Allen key. Um, we'll just have a look inside. So probably on the front, um, a couple of I suppose multi-purpose. Um, Andersons, whether they're real or, or copies, I don't know. There's a voltmeter, um, blockable SIG plugs, and uh, um, a 1 and a 2.1 amp uh, USB charger. Uh, and then there's these switches. A um, bunch of fuses up there, uh, holes and grommets and bits and pieces um, on, I think, all four sides of it, and one on the front, um, none on the back. Sort of um, just so you can sort of see it. Um, so up in there is the negative fuzz bar. It runs down to the a negative. Uh, sorry, a negative post that runs down into the negative fuzz bar. Uh, a positive post, a spare positive post if uh, if you're going to use that. And so basically, if you hook your battery up to that fella. Um, that bigger cable there runs through to the front, in through the fuses, and then the fuses distribute back out to uh, the switches and the uh, um, the voltmeter and the uh, different cigarette and other plugs on the front, US, cigarette USB plugs on the front. Switches um, are sort of ganged together by and large, so basically what you'll do um, is that, that, that's your power coming in. That one there will be your um, power going out to whatever it is that you're going to do. Um, yeah, so that's, I guess, sort of a, a short version of that. Um, that's the fuse thing that's just come off. <laughs> well done, Kev. I'll just pop him back on. Yeah, so look, pretty happy with that. Um, what I'm going to do, this is an old piece of, um, sort of marine ply that uh, I had laying around in the shed here. Um, so we're going to cut it across here. Um, and what we're going to do, once we've got that cut, um, cover it in carpet, get everything laid out on it. Um, it's a little bit taller than what I actually need. That's intentional. Um, this mark here that you can sort of see, um, that is going to sit below the um, tightened drawers that are in the back of the ute. And then that will screw to the, um, to the back of the... Uh, to the tub um, in, in the back of the ute. Um, so we're going to um, sort of start doing the prep work today, get the bits and pieces out of the ute, the fridge, the battery and all of that sort of stuff. Once I've got all of that sort of stuff out, 
um, then we'll start sort of making sure we've got all of this laid out the right way um, in, in a way that sort of suits um, work out what we're going to do with these um, switches um, work out what other bits and pieces I need uh, probably have to do a bit of shopping and uh, hopefully sort of mostly tomorrow we'll get this carpeted uh, or in the next couple of days at least we'll get it carpeted um, get it sort of set up so that uh, we can give it a bit of a test run with the um, with the battery and the shed and some solar when uh, when the sun comes back out it's actually not looking too bad today but um, tomorrow apparently it's supposed to be well this afternoon it's supposed to start raining and uh, it's supposed to rain for the rest of the weekend so we'll just sort of get this little job started um, and I'll sort of hopefully um, stitch some bits and pieces together uh, as we're going along Right, um, I didn't bother filming uh, too much this morning, but I have been cracking along with um, setting up the the King's box um, and the backing board. So, um, really didn't think it was worthwhile showing you me driving a jigsaw um, or an electric staple gun. Um, not particularly interesting stuff, to be honest. Um, or drilling some holes and putting some bolts in, but I'll just quickly show you where I'm up to. So, this is the inside of the battery box. Um, you can sort of see in there, I've put four bolts through. So, when you, uh, when you flip it over, that's what it looks like um, on this carpety bit up here. Uh, the C Tech charger and uh, the inverter, and then the other. Then I'll have a bit of a, a fiddle around and start doing the wiring. But I just want to get everything in position to begin with, uh, and then I'll start one running some wires and plugs and fuses and bits and pieces around. So uh, so we've got it all tidied up. So yeah, so that's where we're at. At this stage, at least. Okay, so what you can see is that everything is now um, screwed in. So, all I've done here is a couple of little screws on each corner of the, uh, of the inverter and a screw on each corner of the CTEC. So now, what we're going to do is have a bit of a a tinker around with some wiring and get that up and running shortly hopefully um, but yeah again I didn't bother showing you me using a screwdriver um, didn't think that was all that worthwhile okay back in the shed with the um, control box thing um, just so last time I did this I think uh, I had screwed on the bits and pieces um, so I'm just going to show you what I've done inside the box. So, it's all a bit of a mess, but this one here is the power, um, and it runs up through that little grommet there to uh, uh, into the inverter, and the other part of it runs down here to this um, negative bus bar. All I've done is crimped a connector on there. Um, crimped a little connector on up here. Doesn't draw very much that inverter, it's only 150 watts. Um, so now, as you can sort of see, um, the inverter will run off that far right switch. It's not something we use all the time, so um, I thought that would uh, just make things look good uh, and make that a bit easier to use. So up here, um, above where the inverter sits, what we're going to do is put a couple of those on. So the grey one will be for our alternator, the red one for our solar panel. And we're going to put some fancy looking uh, fuse setups for the positives out of there 
So the positive for the um, solar panel will go into that one, positive for the solar panel will go into that one. Um, the two negatives will join up. Solar will go in there. Um, alternator will go in there and the earth was over there. So that will get all of that set up. Then what we'll do is bring battery out into here, out of here some, out of probably that grommet there down the bottom, and that will then have us uh, hooking along quite nicely. Um, so a little bit of wiring um, out of there will come through um, another one of those fancy looking fuses, and away that'll go, um, probably down here. So we've got the battery um, charging point maybe coming out of the side uh, because there's a grommet there, potentially over this side. There's also a grommet over here. Um, but I'll just have a play around in the back of the ute until I get before I put that on um, to make that right, and away we go. Um, so yeah, that's what uh, that's where we're up to at the moment. A uh, little bit of wiring to do. Um, Got all sorts of bits and pieces sort of sitting around here. Um, old bits and pieces of um, wire that I've trimmed down and, and not used. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll start plugging it in and uh, wiring it up and seeing how we go. Okay, so did it work last night. Um, this is now, uh, as you can see, on the vice, uh, on the workbench. So what I've done is wired up the positive side of the CTEC battery charger. Haven't done anything to the um, earth side or the output just yet. Uh, and I haven't done anything with the um, selector wires. I have put the um, battery temperature sensor down into the battery box, uh, into the control box rather. Um, that'll come out somewhere, I think I said earlier. Um, that's all wired. So up in, a red and some plug for solar, and a grey one um, input from the alternator. And then across here we've got the uh, two 30 amp fuses um, in an audio carrier. Um, and if you're wondering why that side is longer than those sides, um, that's so you, it's easy to change the fuse, you can just undo that plastic thing, uh, pull it away, <clears throat> and, uh, and out comes the fuse. So the next little jobs uh, around the back, uh, we need to tidy up some wiring um, for the earths from both um, Anderson plugs, which will come across uh, and hook up onto that terminal there, that one in. We'll bring cable down into the control box uh, through that top one and then we're getting very close to being ready to go uh, and get it up mounted into the car. What we'll do um, is put some uh, edges down either side so that it sits um, proud of the wall uh, and then we'll, we'll bolt it in um, just so I don't want these crunching, I don't want those rubbing on the back window or, um, or the back of the tub, back of the tub of the ute. So yeah, it's not looking too bad, I don't think, um, considering that um, these two little fellas were 10 bucks each. Um, they were about 10 bucks each, um, including the fuse. Um, the SeaTech I bought um, the King's box I bought, I mean, I did buy that years ago, um, and uh, and the cable I had just from other projects, and it was just sort of the offcuts as you can see here on the workbench. There's all sorts of random bits and pieces of leftovers. Um, so this has been one of those jobs where um, the work has been, or the cost of it has been fairly minimal because I've used you know existing. Um, screws, bought a couple of bits and pieces um, just to to get it started uh, and, and to tidy it up. So I think this is going to work really well. Um, so aside from doing that, the other thing I've got to do, um, 
really not that tempted, well why not, really quickly um, on this workbench over here um, is the cable for the um, solar panel so we're going to swap that out, swap that um, and some plug over there that's made for a red one, so I've got a couple of extra red ones um, floating around so one of them will go on there, the second one uh, will go on the camper trailer and the other thing that we'll put on um, somewhere, and I haven't quite worked out where, but I'm going to put this on, um, maybe there, sort of thing, um, or alternatively over there, um, but either way, just to um, to fuse out the positive cable for um, the battery, so the, the charging voltage that will come out of the um, CTEC, through the control panel into that fuse uh, and then off to the battery so that's the, the current plan a little bit more to do today um, and then we'll start uh, waiting for the rain to clear so we can get it into the back of the ute right so as you can see i'm wearing different stuff now um, it's a different day from last time around uh, and it's cold and raining still um, down here in um, yes, in well, not running in the shed, running outside the shed. Um, so over the last couple of days, I've done a few bits and pieces. So we've now, so turn the camera around. So now um, we've got all of these bits and pieces wired up. That's wired. That's wired. That's already wired. Um, so the one remaining thing to do. So the next thing to do is to bring that wire there goes into the control box it needs to come out and it'll be hooked up to that um, fuse there and the positive and negative will go into that and then into uh, uh, well there'll be a <clears throat> so it'll go into that and then out of that well plugging into that uh, more realistically will be another um, cable that um, runs off to the second battery. The other thing we'll do is also um, bring some wire out um, to run the fridge. So that'll come out. Um, so the fridge wire will run down along here as well, I don't know, out of one of the grommets, either on the top or the side, um, down, and it will run off to the fridge, which sits roughly uh, in the same place as uh, as the battery on uh, on the slide on the King's or Titan drawers in the back of the Ute. So that's um, that's that now. Okay, so after a couple of so after a couple of weeks of mucking around, I'm doing little bits and pieces at the end uh, of the day. We've got it all ready. Well. Got it set up how I want it set up. So now it's a case of getting the back of the ute set up. So I've been doing it, I've done this probably too many times. Solar, alternator, um, down here, battery in, charger to the battery, all the king stuff over there. Now I've plugged that in. Um, that's ready to go um, to, to obviously I'll plug that plug that in to the second battery um, and that works fault meter down here lights up um, that turns on um, when I turn the switch on with the second battery plugged in so we're good to go now going to be a case of mucking around uh, in the front and the back of the ute to, to get it all done uh, get the wiring done and we'll see how we go from there hello so after a fair bit of looking around it's finally installed um, let's come from the side here so you can see the c tech machine is working on the solar panel um, there it is uh, and you can see down here we've got oh, 
burn so it's actually as you can see it's rising so we've got a bit of charge happening um, when I start it up um, it starts up quite nicely um, you can reach over click the inverter button as you can see the little LEDs come on there and off it goes so we can drive the inverter from the um, panel which is good um, hopefully those fuses will hold up but we'll see how they go over a period of time don't see any reason that they won't they're pretty highly rated fuses um, but yeah so this wasn't all that difficult um, well, just for the record now I'll try and get the the battery um, is hiding in under that wing panel there You can sort of, no, you can't really see it, but it's in there, trust me. Um, yeah, so there you go, interesting little project, bit of fun, um, all set up and done now. Uh, don't have to worry about it anymore. Next job is to get the fridge back in, um, do a bit of wiring to get the fridge running, and away we go. Hopefully, this will um, mean that we can do a, a bit of a road trip later on in the year once. Uh, once everything's opened back up. <sighs>